Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Did you just spend your entire new camera budget on a camera and a few lenses, and now you don't have money left over for the latest and greatest memory card to give you fast shooting and 8K recording capabilities? Are you getting sticker shock from the cost of new CF Express memory cards? Okay, no? So it's just me then, huh? Well, anyway, let me show you my solution for getting a great and reliable CF Express memory card for well under $100. How you may ask? It's simple. With the use of this SSD to CF Express memory card converter. Okay, so I got this adapter from B&H Photo. There are other versions of this same adapter, including one I ordered from Scientech, who I originally discovered had this adapter. The SSDs I'm using are a Kioxia 256 gigabyte SD and a Samsung 256 gigabyte SD. Either can be had on Amazon for around $40 at the time of recording, but I picked up both of these as a upgrade for friends' laptops that I've done. For the video, I'm going to use the Samsung SSD. By the way, for this adapter, you have to use the model 2230 30 millimeter drives. But let's go ahead and unbox this little guy and install the drive and then load it into the R5C just to make sure it works. Spoiler, of course it does. All right, everybody, so this one should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and unbox this adapter. So they actually give you a couple of stickers that you can stick on the outside of the memory card to identify what size drive you have in it. But since we pretty much know both of them are 256, and we are gonna pretty much keep up with the size of our memory cards. I don't think that's really necessary. Plus that'll give us the option to upgrade over time. And from there, we'll just have to keep tabs. I'll probably just use my label maker to put a label on it of the size if I ever do change it out. But for now, I have two 256 gig cards. They really don't make these packages for people with large fingers. So the one from Monster, which is this one, was a custom build. And the one from Scientech, they usually keep those in stock on Amazon and eBay. All right, so this part just comes out. Just stick the card in like that. And that slides in there. So they want you to pull off this adhesive. Well, let's go ahead and do it. All right, that all seems to line up like so. All right, now we have a CF Express card. That was pretty simple. So let's go ahead and put it in the R5C and give it a couple of test shots. Okay, now that we have the memory card built, let's go ahead and get it loaded into the camera and just do a couple of quick tests.
there we go we can see both cards are loaded and it's giving us the option here to set if we want raw or C raw so it's recognizing the card fine in fact let's go ahead and pull out the SD card All right, there's our SD card. All right, figured that was gonna happen. Okay, so even though the camera recognizes the card, you will still need to go in and format the card. This can be found in the camera settings under the first page under Format Card. There we go, format card, that's what we're looking for. Okay, go ahead and format the card. Now, all right. Let's switch over to video. That all looks good. All right. And see, now we can see that we're recording at 8K. And if we switch this over, we're now on 29 frames. Or we can do 60. So just like that, we've opened up a world of options now as far as abilities with resolutions and recording. Okay, everybody, that's gonna be it for this one. I just wanted to share this little quick video on this memory card adapter with you all. I figured this was a great way to get a quality memory card for a really cheap price especially since these cards can creep into the thousand dollar range. As always, I hope you guys liked the video and learned something. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I drop new content. See you all on the next one. Later.